Hi, welcome to Hidden Markov Model. Here we will see the mathematical notations for given problem statement. Here the pro given problem statement is having a person is locked in a room for several days and he is asked about the weather outside. That means he wants to know the climate outside his room. That room is very dark, all the windows and door is closed, he is inside for long time. The person has only a piece of evidence whether the servant is carrying an umbrella or not carrying an umbrella when he is entering into the room to serve his daily meal. That means a person is inside the locked room, that person is ha uh, not know about the uh, climate of outside the only uh, he can get the meal from a servant at the right time so he is carrying his work inside the room so he if he wants to know the climate only he has evidence that during the rainy day uh, the a person uh, the servant will uh, come uh, with the umbrella when he is bringing the food to him so based upon that umbrella uh, um, that is carrying the umbrella by servant or not carrying by carrying the umbrella by servant. So if he is carrying the umbrella, he ca he come to know uh, that there is the possibility of raining or there is the possibility of cloudy. If he is not carrying the umbrella, there is the uh, possibility of sunny. So that is the thing. So here the uh, hidden states. From the state transition diagram, we found sunny, cloudy and rainy and also state transition probability values are given uh, and emission probability values also uh, here for rainy, we will give some pro emission probability value, right, during the rainy not carrying the umbrella, this is carrying the umbrella, so here the emission probability is carrying an umbrella or not carrying an umbrella, so to build a hidden Markov model, it is a combination of hidden Markov chains and observed variables. The hidden Markov chain is having transition probabilities and emission probabilities. Okay, so tra transition, va em transition values also there, emission values also there. And uh, hidden uh, Markov chain is uh, producing the observed values. This is the emission probabilities, that is the observed values. Okay, so now based upon that, how can we denote the uh, given system by using mathematical notations. Let's assume t number of days are completed. So for the t number of days, each day is assumed as a one state. So x1 is on the first day, x2 is on the second day, etc. x t is on the tth day. So each day will uh, generate the observation. x1 generates observation 1, x2 generates the observation 2, etc the xt generates the observation t so this is denoted with capital o set of observation states here the observation state is having two values two possibilities two possibilities either that person is carrying an umbrella or not carrying an umbrella each observation emits from an unknown state that means these states are hidden states because the person the person is who is inside he does not know about the climate okay the climate is denoted with the variable x so x is hidden or unknown to the person who is locked inside the room that's why it is called a hidden state okay therefore we have a set of sequence unknown states are x1 x2 until xt for the uh, time period t and here each state may be a sunny or rainy or cloudy that is the xi and we would like to know the hidden states from the set of observations that is denoted by probability of hidden states given observations xi given oi i is from 1 to t so that's what denoted here here we can apply the base theorem to obtain the probability of specific day here probability of hidden state xi given oi equal to prayer uh, this is maximum likelihood the probability of observation generated by xi multiplied with prayer probability probability of xi divided by marginal probability probability of oi so here the probability of a given b 
is given with maximum likelihood uh, multiplied with prior probability and divided by marginal probability okay so this is the base theorem so based upon that we can state this given a base theorem for length of t time period for t time period there is the possibility of t number of states which are uh, uh, generated the pro, uh, uh, t number of observations so maximum likelihood will be probability of o number of observations given that t i mean a uh, t number of observations given by t number of states that means x1 generates the uh, o1 uh, x2 generates the o2 x3 generates the ot and the prior probability is hidden states t number of hidden states divided by marginal probability probability of t, t number of observations but the marco chain process is property is the next state depends on only the current state so it can be denoted by probability of next state given current state so current state is i minus 1 and the next state is i In the uh, based upon this independent observation marco chain property we can denote this equation into uh, this equation probability of o1 o2 for the time period ot given x1 x2 xt state equal to probability of oi observation i generated by hidden state xi so from this we can uh, denote that equation into pr product of uh, i equal to 1 to time period t uh, probability of oi given xi that means observation i th observation generated by uh, i th state okay so that is the thing so multiplied with the product probability of uh, product of time period t t uh, probability of the current state i mean next state given by current state so here uh, the n is the number of states okay here n equal to 3 because we are having sunny rainy and cloudy and the transient probabilities here the current state is uh, i mean next state is uh, given by current state and emission probability observation generated by hidden state i okay uh, initial state probability is denoted with pi i so always initial probability denoted with the value pi okay so now uh, based upon this we can uh, give the notations uh, hmm is always having three parameters one is the uh, state transient probability and emission probability and initial probability okay you look at here so from this uh, diagram here state transition probability that is uh, all the state transitions and emission probabilities and uh, we will have uh, initial state here start state will we will have right so that is called initial probability right pi and here the a is the set of transition matrix that is denoted with whatever transitions we are having from current state to next state okay that is denoted with this one and this entire thing these are all outgoing edges from the particular state so a11 a12 uh, like that it will be it will become so when it is coming like this so the sum of this all the outgoing edges will be one that's what denoted here okay sum of all the edges uh, of this particular row will be one that means the outgoing edges from this particular state okay and here uh, we can denote this uh, ai transition of ith state is probability of the next state given by uh, current state that is the meaning of xt given xt minus 1 here sj is the next state si is the current state so here we are using the notation aij that means transition from the uh, uh, current state i to next state j that's what mentioned here with mathematical notation here the transition probability value always greater than or equal to zero that means we cannot use negative values here okay so here we cannot use the negative values always it should be greater than or equal to zero right that's what mentioned here and uh, the observation variables denoted here in this diagram uh, v1 v2 etc at vw so the emission probability can be denoted with bi of vk so here the uh, teeth observation generated by the uh, teeth state so here q in the sense state uh, earlier we have used the x 
here it is used q you can use any notation x or q to denote the state so state t generates the observation t that is the meaning okay so here the emission probability for w number of uh, emissions here we are having b1 v1 b1 v2 b1 vw again uh, this will be some of these values will be right uh, some of these values will be given here right so here the prayer probability that is the initial state probability here in the base theorem we are using the prayer probability am i right so here we are using the prayer probability this is maximum likelihood this one is the marginal value marginal probability value so prayer probability here which is given with the notation of uh, pi initial state probabilities so that is the sum of all the values for the particular day particular row is 1 particular row is 1 that means pi of 1 pi of 2 etc pi of n will be 1 that is the meaning so emission probability here uh, denoted with a state will generate an observation that means each state xt will generate the ot like that sequence of x generates the sequence of y but a decision must be taken according to how that model producing the uh, value as a discrete value or continuous value so we have to check that emission probability value either it is the discrete or continuous if it is the discrete value we can model that using probability mass function if it is the continuous value then we have to model that output by using the probability density function so we should know the emission probability either it is the discrete value or continuous value based upon that we have you we have to use probability mass function or probability density function thanks for watching